So now you can see here that I've added the second signature. I've come in through this side and I've done the running stitch again up and over each of the ribbons. I'm checking inside and yes, all of the all of the ribbon, the inside is tight. This hasn't gotten caught on anything. So you pull it tight and here at the end you do a square knot to tie on your very first two signatures. You'll this is the only time you will do a square knot for the um, on the book. The rest of the knots are going to be the kettle stitch. So once you've got that knotted, you go ahead and add your next signature. And then once again, you're going to begin your stitching here and do another running stitch. Stitch on into the third, the third signature here and then do the running stitch up and over and across. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added the third signature. And again, it was just the regular running stitch going in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Tight that it hasn't gotten caught up on anything. And now you're going to do your kettle stitch. So what you do is you start at the inside of the book and bring the needle in and under the stitch that was done before. And this, don't get it through there part, that part though, and this is going to form a little bit of a cup. I told you that trick Tim Holtz taught us to remember how to do the kettle stitch. So you've got it here, you've brought it in from this, always start the kettle stitch from the inside of the book toward the out side of the book until you can form your little cup. Then the needle, you pretend the needle is your tea, you pour the tea into the cup, and you fill the cup all the way. That means you pull this string all the way through that cup until it's all the way finished and you're ready to form the knot. And then when you're ready to form the knot, you pull the string straight up and up rises the string, the steam. So, and you kind of, I kind of push with my nail a little bit just to help the waxed thread form the knot because um, the stuff is sticky to itself. So that is the first kettle stitch. Now that you've formed the first kettle stitch, go ahead and add the next signature. We'll go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, and then we'll do the kettle stitch on this side of the book. 